Are you not able to install Adobe Premiere Pro on your machine or is your system not compatible? So you are on the right place, your bro AJ will let you know what all minimum system requirements you need to run Adobe Premiere on your machine. So there are three major things which needs to be met in case of Mac and Windows. So the first one is your operating system, RAM, random access memory of your machine, then GPU, the graphics memory. So first we're gonna discuss RAM. So the minimum requirement is eight gigabytes of RAM in case of Mac and Windows both. And it totally depends upon the uses, uh, the application you use, if you are a filmmaker, if you are a YouTuber, like the projects you work on. So simultaneously you would have to increase it like 16, 32, 64, 128 or so on. It depends on the uses, but the minimum requirement is eight gigabytes. The second thing comes in is operating system. So if you have a Windows machine, the minimum OS requirement is Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, that's good enough. So 10 and 11, both are compatible. And in case of Mac, the minimum requirement is Mac OS Catalina, which is version 10.15 and then later so on. But if you want to go with Adobe Premiere Pro latest version, which is just now released uh, 20 days back, uh, 23.0 that requires minimum of Big Sur, which is 11.0 and so on because recently Mac introduced Ventura which is 13.0 so if you are going to install Premiere Pro 2021 or 2022 you can straight away go with Catalina or so on and if you want to go with the latest version then Big Sur is the minimum and let's come to the last point which is uh, graphic card so as per Adobe, the minimum requirement is two gigabytes, any of your GPU, Intel, AMD, or in case of Windows. And in case of Mac, if you have an Intel chip, then there would be Intel Iris or AMD Radeon graphics. And if you have an M1 machine, then your graphic is included within the CPU. So there is no such thing in M1 or M2 machine. Uh, the higher the graphics memory you will have, uh, the higher the application would perform well. Uh, smooth playback, rendering, exporting, all of the things would gonna work smoothly. You don't need to create proxies and all. So yes, uh, two gigabytes is the minimum. Uh, and what Adobe recommends is four gigabytes at least. Let's understand this. Why you need higher system specs? If the minimum requirement is eight gigabyte, why would go beyond this? 16, 32, 64 and so on. And same goes with the graphics memory. So that is required because uh, let's just say if you are working on a HD or full HD media, but if you want to work with 4K, 6K or even 8K files, that needs a higher end processing and which comes from the graphic card. So in that scenarios, wherever, if you have a raw files in a high resolution, if you have a big project, you're working with multiple plugins, add on LUTs, color grading and all, there uh, you need to render the timeline again and again. So in that phase, you need more rendering and that needs more processing. That is why you need higher memory, a higher graphic card, higher the specs you will have, higher the performance you will get. So this was all some basic requirement about Premiere. If you want to know more stuff like this, do comment below, like how to run Premiere Pro in four gigabytes or six gigabytes of machine, how to work smoothly uh, with 4K files in eight gigabytes of RAM with proxies or without proxies. So I'll bring the same relevant videos for you. So you guys are aware what you have to do, like, share and subscribe the channel. And do let me know in the comments below whether you were aware about this information, minimum requirements or not. See you in the next one. Juba.